in this class we are going to discuss about the profit center accounting and we are going to create the profit center standard hierarchy profit center and profit center groups so in the cost center accounting we use the cost centers to analyze the cost but profit center is used for revenue analysis as well so it is it will help us to prepare full income statement and balance sheet for different line of business income statements will prepared but to prepare the balance sheet we have to activate the document splitting so profit center is defined at any area where we want to analyze reporting criteria trial balance is required revenue generation point and segment reporting to use the responsibility accounting we need to define the profit centers data will flow from material master cost center asset master cost center internal order to the profit center and all the profit center postings are statisticals like if we want to post in any cost center so system will automatically post these values in cost center and profit center as well because the profit center is assigned to the cost center master data in this session we will also assign the profit center to the cost center master data so let's go and create the standard hierarchy and profit center group and then profit center so i am going to spro screen reference img controlling profit center accounting basic setting and in controlling area setting i am going to maintain the controlling area setting so my controlling area is 1214 and here i am going to create the standard hierarchy for the profit center and i am going to use the inter business volume elimination so in this if if i check this option what the system will do it will not post the duplicate data like if i assign one profit center to two cost centers and i am going to post from one cost center to another cost center so system will not post the duplicate data and i am going to use the currency controlling area group currency which i have used in for while maintaining the controlling area and my local currency is pkr and valuation is legal valuation view and i'm going to activate save this so i have created my standard hierarchy so now i am going to check as it is assigned in the profit financial accounting as well general ledger accounting master data profit center so define profit center standard hierarchy in controlling area my controlling area is 1214 so it where it is automatically assigned here so go back and now i am going to create the profit center group account controlling profit center accounting master data profit center so profit center group i am going to create so this is my standard hierarchy i am going to create in this lower level so i am going to i am going to assume that I, my company is producing chair and table so my ch chair is one profit center and this is profit center group so save this so now i am going to create one profit center so go to master data 
individual processing and I'm going to create 101 this is my profit center share persons ABC and profit center group as chair indicators so here we can maintain multiple data so system is going to maintain the history as well so now I am going to activate this profit center so profit center 101 is now created so we can also check in the hierarchy as well so check the standard hierarchy display so you can check here so chair is one profit center group and 101 is my profit center so this is the way we are going to create the profit center standard hierarchy profit center group and profit center so like this we can create multiple profit center groups profit centers as and when required so i'm now i'm going to assign profit center to the cost center master data so for this i'm going to financial accounting general ledger accounting master data profit center so assignment of account assignment object to profit center and check the assignments cost centers execute so i'm going to assign for my cost center for the production so the production item category so i have created this production cost center under the production item category now i'm going to assign this so 101 is my profit center used for so like i have gone so the validity date of the profit center and the cost center must be the same so let's go and check the validity date of so i'm going to check from here as well so go back and check the validity date of the profit center so it is the validity date change the validity date is from 0 1 to 15 activate so now i am going to going back and assign the profit center to the cost center spro reference img financial accounting general ledger accounting master data profit center and in the assignment field check the assignment cost center execute execute this and now i'm going to assign this so now the system will not generate any error so you can check production is my cost center which is which i will use in the work center as well and the profit center is the chair so i'm going to use the chair and i'm going to produce the chair as well as a finished good so it is my finished good save go back check so you can check it is now assigned so like this you can also assign the profit center to the material master as well so till now i have not created any material types material master so when i am going to create in the mm enterprise structure and material types and materials so we will discuss this and assign the profit center to the material master master data you can also check from here if any material is available so
let's check we can i can display the so there is not any material available let's check for another plant so material is created at the plant level and all the material are evaluated in the plant level as well so multiple materials are available this is finished good i think check this out So we have to check, select the views. Check these views as well. So it is not displaying the accounting tab. Let's create the accounting tab for this material. So I'm going to use these two tabs these four tabs accounting and costing tab let's go so in the accounting we have to assign the valuation class check which valuation class is available Counting to costing one. So here we are going to here. So here we have to assign the profit center. So when we are going to procure any material. So system will automatically update the profit center as well. So in the material master, we have to assign the profit center as well. And in the call center, we have already discussed where we are going to assign in the call center master data. We have to assign the profit center. So that's all for this video. Thank you for watching.